Hi everyone, welcome to All Things Iceland. My name is Jules and for anyone who's new to my channel watching this, I have been living and working in Iceland since 2016 and on this channel I talk about everything regarding this country such as history, culture, nature, and language. Of course, now today, the big thing that is going on, the big news is about a volcanic eruption that has happened on the Reykjanes Peninsula. And since I have been updating people about what has been going on about this eruption, basically leading up to this point, I am in this video just gonna give an update about when the eruption happened, how it's going, safety-wise, what authorities are saying, regarding ash, like how much ash is expected, the amount of lava flow, if it's gonna affect surrounding areas, the name of the eruption, because so many people are interested in that, as well as how people are reacting to this eruption here in Iceland. Of course, I always have links in the description box to like the live stream if you wanna watch that of the eruption, as well as any news articles I'm referencing when it comes to the information that I'm getting. So let's just get right into it. The eruption started last night, March 19th, at around 9.40 p.m. And it's on the Reykjanes Peninsula, like I mentioned, but it specifically started, a fissure opened up and lava started flowing near a mountain called Fagradalsfjall. And as I mentioned in my short video, just to like say the eruption is happening last night, Fagratals means beautiful valley and Fiat means mountain. So all together, it means beautiful valley mountain. And because the lava flow is basically inside of this valley called Geldingadalur, the eruption is being called Geldingadals Guos. So Geldingadalur meaning Castrated Valley, like I mentioned, and Guos meaning eruption. So those are at least the names that you might hear some media outlets outside of Iceland try to say. And of course, it's not as fun as Eyjafjallajökull or what people thought it initially might be called, which was like Thrauen Skjaldarhroin, but still, it's a decent practice of the language, so give it a try for sure. And what's so fascinating to me is that a volcanic eruption has not happened in over 800 years on the Reykjanes Peninsula. So it's just kind of exciting that this isn't a huge eruption and that it's not harming anybody. We get to enjoy this happening without fearing for our lives or for animals in the area or for any infrastructure. And of course, regards to safety, because of course this is everybody's biggest concern, whether they live in Iceland or around the world, people are safe. And I'm, I said that last night and I'm saying it again because of course we're getting updated information about what's going on, but authorities are saying that this is essentially a small and beautiful eruption. There's little to no ash that is expected from this eruption. And the reason for that, for those who might be interested and might understand why one volcano, like the one in 2010 that went off Eyjafjallajökull, why that caused so much ash and not this one. So there is an ice cap over Eyjafjallajökull and Ari Troste, who is a well-known geologist here, who I interviewed about a possible eruption happening here in Iceland, he had mentioned that because Eyjafjallajökull was interacting with an ice cap, water and lava essentially create a lot of ash if you have a decent amount of water that's interacting with it. And so in this area where the eruption is happening, we're not getting this same interaction. There's not like it's interacting with seawater, it's not interacting with an ice cap. So you don't have that combination which causes a lot of ash. So no worries there. This should not be an issue in terms of internationally for people traveling or even here in Iceland. Gas emission wise, they're saying that there's little gas emission that's dangerous to people who are in the inhabited areas. Of course, if you're right in the area of the eruption, which is an uninhabited area. So just to be clear about that, there are towns that are nearby, but it's an uninhabited area. So if you're right there, there are poisonous gases that can harm you. That is for sure. But we're not getting these highlights about potential pollution in the air that'd be really you know, harmful for the people living here. Now, last night, Authorities did say to individuals in Thorlaxhop, which is a town nearby, to like close their windows, turn off their radiators, just in case the wind does push some of this gas emission towards them. But still, like I said, all in all, things are safe. And the expected lava flow, like the rate of it, is around 100 cubic meters per second. And because the lava is filling into this valley, 
a geologist kind of explained it as lava filling up a bathtub and they're not expecting this whole valley to be filled up by this, nor are they expecting the lava flow to spread wide across an area. Rather, it might just get more thicker. It's like just building up on top of each other. And of course, authorities are saying for people to stay out of the area, but there are always individuals who end up going. And last night, there was actually a stream. I was watching the news, there was a stream of cars heading in the direction of Reykjanes just because they wanted to be individuals to be able to like see it. And the area, of course, is closed, meaning like right around where the eruption is happening, but people are hiking to get there anyway. Way. But the Reykjanes Peninsula itself is open. And reactions, and some of the other reactions here, besides some people deciding that they're gonna go out there even though authorities said not to, is that some Icelanders are calling the eruption cute or being like, oh, poor thing, because it's small. Right? It's not like anything that's major, a major event or going to majorly affect people. So I think that's kind of funny how this is going on. And of course, this is like everywhere on the news, like all the news stations are just flooded with information about the eruption. And it's exciting for many people here. And because like I mentioned, it isn't a big eruption and it isn't posing any danger to people. So it allows for people to have that excitement. I'm sure people hearing it from the outside, from outside news sources are concerned. And I think that is a valid thing. And I know myself, and other people here that live in Iceland are grateful for people reaching out to ask how we are, but no need to worry. Of course, if things change, there will be updates about that. But as of the moment, there isn't expected to be much more happening. Now, of course, there's the potential for this to be the beginning of more volcanic activity. There could be another fissure, according to some geologists, that open up and more lava flow comes out in another area on the Reykjanes Peninsula. And of course, monitoring is happening in the area, but for now, all is good. Lastly, for anybody who wants more kind of like scientific information about what's going on in this area, there is a great post by Ben Edwards on Twitter, and we just took a screen grab of the eruption and he shows like the different phrases and names for it. So if you hear about that on the news, you at least have a frame of reference. And I, of course, will have a link to that tweet and the photo in the description box. I hope that this was helpful or at least interesting for you. And if you did find that to be the case, please give this video a thumbs up and share it with anybody else who you think might find it helpful just to get this update. Like I mentioned, I of course will give more updates. And in my channel in general, I gave a lot of insights into Icelandic culture, history, language, and nature through the eyes of an expat. So of course, more content like that and any breaking news stories that I think might be interesting will be shared here. As always, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.